Greetings in the Lord Christ. This is your Chief Apostle Reddick, Master Apostle and Executive Pastor of Converting Souls Apostolic Ministries. And today we are in our second half hour of Holy Ghost Supplication. And thank you for joining us. And if you've stayed, um, I pray that you continue to press into the Spirit. If you're edified and built up, then you can strengthen your brother and sister. That way it profits everybody. And so, and if you have an interpreter at your church, one with the gift of tongues, then that's another way everybody can be edified. So it profits everybody. And so here we're, we're going into Holy Ghost Tongues Power Edification Prayer. Um... And in Holy Ghost Tongues, powerful at power edification prayer, we come from 1 Corinthians 14, 2. When we speak in tongues, we are speaking unto God and not unto man. And that's the verse in the scripture. And our spirit is speaking in mysteries. It explains that to us. And so, um, also... It tells us in 1 Corinthians 14 that we edify our spirit. It also tells us we bless, we bless God in the spirit and we thank God in the spirit. Acts 10, 44 through 46 tells us that when the Holy Ghost fell upon the people, they began to speak the wonderful works of God. They were, there was interpreters there that understood what they were saying to God. And so they were able to join in. But you can join in without knowledge of what I'm saying by um, worshiping and praying and prayer yourself. Even if it's just thank you Jesus, hallelujah, and thanking him for the wonderful works he's done in your life. Or that you've seen him do in the world. Um, the Bible tells us in Acts 2 that the day of Pentecost, when the day of Pentecost was come and the Holy Ghost fell upon or descended on the disciples, the apostles, with closing tongues of fire. And so they began to speak in tongues and the men and the women from surrounding cities and of neighboring cities and countries that were there um, began to um, testify that they were magnifying God in the spirit. Luke 20, this is, these are things why it's important to um, pray and prayer and praise and edification, building up your spirit. And giving worship to God and His presence is there strengthens you. Don't you know um, that He found His strength in Psalms 8-2? He ordained it to be so. And so Jesus tells the Apostle Peter in Luke, the 22nd chapter, the 31st and 32nd verse, that... Um, Satan desired to sift him as we, but he had prayed for him that his faith fell not, that when he was converted, strengthen thy brethren. And that just meant have when once his day of Pentecost came, when he was baptized in the Spirit. When he was baptized in the Spirit to strengthen his brethren and sisters in Christ. And so this is what we must understand that we must do. Um, having Holy Ghost prayer is key and vital in our walk with Christ, in our spiritual lives. And so um, Ephesians 6 to 18 tells us that we have armor from God. And to pray with all prayer and supplication in the spirit is armor 
for us because it strengthens our spirit it builds it up and so we must understand that um, it is Holy Ghost tongues it is a gift of the spirit the spirit is manifesting and it is praying for us and so we have Romans 8, 26 and 27. When we don't know what we should pray as we ought, then the Holy Ghost helps our infirmities of prayer. And he begins to utter. And he utter God's... He utters God's will for us. So he's praying to God for us on our behalf, the will of God. And so we must understand that that's what we do here on Friday mornings in Holy Ghost supplication. And so don't just look at me. Don't just watch or view later and watch it and just look at me. And I need you to join in. But. Even though you're sitting there like this and you're listening and you're looking like, what's she saying? That's crazy. It's still going into your spirit. You might not know what I'm saying. You may not know what I'm doing, but it's going into your spirit. What the spirit of God is uttering out of me is going into your spirit. So we must understand that although I'm being edified, I'm believing God that you are too. It's in the hearing. It's the gateway. The eyes, the senses. So don't, don't, I, I know it's a surprise to some. And to some that are immature, they'll make jokes. But for you, I need you to be strengthened in the spirit. And I need you to join in where you are. And if you have tongues, begin to utter. Just let the Holy Ghost flow. See, it's good to be able to control one's spirit. That's biblical. And so when your pastor at your church say, begin to speak in tongues, you have a fountain that you unseal. And you just let it flow. Sometimes I don't always follow that. Sometimes I do. When I visit a church, if they begin to say, speak in tongues, and then I, I start uttering, and sometimes I wait. But that's just how I work. I, I understand we are supposed to control our spirit. And, and, and um, so I want you to understand that this gift is a, a gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and you have to have faith for it. God gives us grace for faith in Jesus Christ. He also gives us his divine grace for faith in the gifts of the Spirit. We have to seek him in prayer for it, and we have to ask him to baptize us in the Spirit. It is a promise that he gives for all believers anyway. So I want you to understand that you can have this gift, but you have to seek God for it. You can't seek me for it. You have to seek God. I can pray and lay hands on you. But it comes from God. The, and Jesus Christ will baptize you in it. Okay, now we will enter in. Along with me is Lead Holy Ghost Fountain, Associate Pastor, Master Prophetess King, and Holy Ghost Supplication. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See what she's doing? I've entered in. But she's starting in 
Glory her native language. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 And so that's one way to enter into Hallelujah. 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 That I cast down every stronghold every yeah, thought da, 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 da. and image in the name of Jesus yeah, da, 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 da. and any influence from which it comes. Yeah, Yeah, 
Nakre i krianda hakra ye si krianda hakra ye nakre i krianda hakra ye si krianda hakra ye zaye de i krianda hakra ye i kria zaye we zizi kizi an zaye de di di izi a zaye si si kizi an zaye we zizi izi an zaye de di di izi a zaye zizi kizi an zaye de di di izi an zaye de di di izi a zaye we zizi kizi an zaye de di di izi a zaye de di di izi a. Krai i krian sa ye krian sa ye di di sia i krai se krian da ha krai ye si kria sa ye di di sia za ye we zizi kizi an za ye di di sia krai se krian da ha krai ye si kria za ye we zizi kizi an za ye di di sia krai se krian da ha krai ye si kria sa ye di di sia za ye zizi kizi an za ye di di sia za ye we zizi kizi an za ye di di sia. Krase krianda hakra yesi kria sa yere didisia. Yata de 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 Yata de 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 Hallelujah. Cryesicria, <laughs> Nakre i krian na hakra ye si kriya sa ye re di di siya. Za ye we zizi ki zi an za ye zizi izi an za ye zizi ki zi ya. 
Thank you for joining Holy Ghost Supplication. This is your Chief Apostle Reddick. Thank you, Chief. Head Holy Ghost Fountain of Converting Souls Apostolic Ministries <coughs> and Executive <coughs> Pastor, Master Apostle Presiding Prayer. And we here thank you for joining us in Holy Ghost Supplication. Thank you, Lord. For this half hour. Peace and blessings you, in and through the Holy Ghost, God's Spirit, leading us in eternal life and in Christ's full stature. Hallelujah. Go in peace. In Christ's authority, Master Chief Apostle Reddick.